We're going to have to aim for the water. Oh my god, we missed it completely! Um, and welcome back to Ark, where today... Well, I've decided we're going to go do something. I worked on the base a little bit here since last episode. I probably only worked about another two hours, honestly. I got my creatures grown and built up the farm for the oil bugs. Uh, the oil bugs done. Here they are. Um, but yeah, I moved the bridge here. I decided that we're going to do it over here. We're going to have it go down this way. Don't look over there just quite yet. But yeah, so I put up, a b again, another pen here for the or the jug bugs. So we got element there. Um, we might do another structure here for some mutton and all that. I don't know. I might try and uh, fit some other farms down here as well, like an egg couple egg ones but definitely gonna try and fit a poop farm somewhere over in here i was thinking under the stairs maybe but as you may see we got a bridge right down here to the one to the egg pen or the egg room now i have moved it down and this bridge here i i don't know i just couldn't figure anything like to get it down to here and but i really wanted it lowered so i figured hell let's just do it from the other platform and honestly it looks really good so that's why i actually moved that one because i just it just feels nice having the bridges, you know? But as you can see here, a lot of this is empty, and that's just so that way I have room for creatures to put down, like the T-Rexes and Gigas and all that, so I can breed them. And voila! Here it is. Now, there is a little bit I have not done just yet, which is, most, most importantly, setting up the cryopods. Now, I do plan on going, like, over in here and setting them up, but I do want to organize them a lot better like i want to have sections like herbivores all right we have the herbivores carnivores aquatic all right we might even cut out a section for flyers maybe but yeah there we'll go and we might even just have modded in general so like this guy here would be going there but like we'll have herbivores then we'll have subsections like like their variations like aberrant uh r x like so on and so forth you know or I might just go again, herbivore, carnivore, aquatic, you know, and just throw them all in there. And then, yeah. Also, I did fix the problem where I wasn't having things pop up. Um, yeah. It was because, of, all right, so there's, like, two ways I, like, you can launch the game. There's, like, one that's called NVIDIA Analysis Mode. I've been launching in that here the last probably five episodes, let's say. And, uh, yeah. That's also how I've been taking them really nice screenshots. So what I think I'm going to do here from now on is instead of loading directly into that, I'm going to load into normal arc like I was beforehand, and then when I come back for screenshots, I will go and reload up in that, that NVIDIA analysis mode. But yeah. Anyways, my plans for today are quite simple. All right, now that I've gotten that long, long uh, over discussion done, is I had to go run back to Aberration. And I had to go grab me some stuff. Most importantly, I grabbed me some Trank Darts and Kibble. Now, I only grabbed Superior Kibble and 14 of it. Because, again, we are working on our farm and we are, again... I got Jug Bugs already going. I mean, if I really, really kicked into... I've been up for four hours today just sitting here planning on this. <laughs> I spent the longest... I spent like an hour just trying to transfer in between maps. Like, I was just being so cautious because I didn't want to lose my character, but yeah. But anyways, we got these guys. But anyways, what we are taming today is a gas bag. Now, I know that there are three on the map. I just don't know where they are. And I'm at... Wait, why can't I pull that up? Come on. Did I do something? Is that broken now? Okay, I have no clue why the... Like, it should be able to like, just hit Shift F8 and load it up. But here we go. Boom. Okay, gas bags. Well, here we go. So, there's one very obvious choice that I should definitely go for. And that is this one here, because it is the closest. And it has the highest health. But these two would probably also be worth looking into. Because, again, they are 150s. And you never know, one of these might have like an insane ox oxygen stat on it. But, this one right here is the clearly obvious choice. I mean, it has 4,000 health. The other ones have, like, only 3,000. Um, here's the thing. I've also said no flyers. 
but it's very tempting when I have Frost, Archie, uh, and Mr. Gunner here. But do I do I, am I good here on Element? I am. I also did split my half my element I had reserved for my tech suit and gave it to my uh, thing there so I could keep crafting stuff in tech. These guys now, though, are producing it. I do need to get a Lystro up so that way I can level up. But yeah, I think I need to get a long neck rifle before I leave. Oh my god. I Ooh, ooh, ooh. I also got the perfect one. Now, if you guys don't know, my helicopter on here has all the stuff I've been slowly trying to turn into blueprints on him. And as you can see, last thing I made was the chainsaw. So we got this really nice chainsaw here from Scorched Earth. But we also have this really, really nice long neck rifle. Which, we're not going to blueprint. We're just going to take it with us. Okay. And yeah, I think that should be it. That's a raptor saddle, spino saddle, arthropura saddle. Platform saddle. Uh, where are they? Basculus saddle. You know what? Here, yeah. Let's convert you. So, yeah. That guy's also pretty loud while he's converting stuff. So, yeah. It's, it'd be a good time to get out of the base. So, yeah. Let's just do this the way we should. So, um, I'm so glad I haven't been recording. Um, things have escalated quite drastically. That's a giga. Eating my gas bag. That was a corrupted Giga that I'm now going to kill in vengeance because now I'm pissed. That was a nice one too. I had 33 points into health. This Giga is half health. Unless he just healed up because he ate something. Nope. We're killing him. We're gonna sh so kill him. If he would... Ever. Okay, I guess the way that dinos heal is, uh... Carnivores have to consume the corpse. Um... And yeah. he. I guess corrupted dinos don't consume corpses. They just kill. Or at least a corrupted Giga doesn't. There we go. Can I harvest your body now? What did you give me? Leech blood and Giga Nosaurus. Do I not get anything? Corrupted nodules. Okay. Yeah. Those are the things that you can use as polymer, I believe. But there's our gas bag. Just dead. Man, life just sucks sometimes. Like, what the heck? A gas bag bladder? I mean, when life gives you lemons. More gas bag bladders, I guess. Okay, so we're going to the next gas bag now. And I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. But, uh, without a flyer, this is impossible. I should also probably really be flying more. I've been running a lot, but I feel like that's using up more gas or more fuel when I do this than compared to when I'm on the ground just sprinting. Because then I feel like it's just using up my boots or my legs. This is using up jetpack and my and my uh, you know leg. See, now we've consumed an entire element here just from the jetpack, and legs are almost down. So this is actually quite expensive, but I think it's a lot faster. Now, it looks like our gas bag is way out in the wasteland. Okay. Ooh, 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 come on, come on. I want to land on the wall here. So I can get some snackies in before I head into the wasteland. And also an actual drink and snackies in real life. I ain't gonna lie, though. The desert dome from here looks really awesome. Just, just saying. It just... Oh. Because I also think, like, if I move, like, see the mountains in the background? They should start converting, yeah. I think they do, at least. Let's get out here to the gas bag and see where he's at.
Okay, would you look at that? That is an element node. Can it can I see their health with this at all? No. No, I don't want to get near that because I got a feeling it would start something. But those should give me a buttload of element. And oh, all right, there's our gas bag. Um, ooh, ooh, this is actually probably a really good spot to do it. All right, don't jump, don't jump. Also, what are your stats? All right, hold up, what was that? That looked like a 30? All right, you're not as good as the last one, but at least you got 30 in your health. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now, we're gonna trank you. Don't worry, buddy, this, this is gonna be a simple and painless process. Hopefully you do not get unnetted and run away. Wait, all right, I'm also gonna have a poll. Do you guys count a gas bag as a flyer? It will be up on YouTube. It's just gonna be a yes or no. And it, whether or not on your answer, yeah. Cause then that means I'd have to go tame a snow owl before I get access to my flyers. Cause that's, that's one of my limits here. Also, I'm only allowed tech, but there's no tech trank. Oh God, th yeah, there is. I just lied. I could be hitting this guy with a tech bow right now. But I... Ooh. I could. Should I invest into a tech bow? That would be nice, because then I could just use tech shards as ammo. Or element shards. What are we looking like here? Oh my god. Um, We're going to be chasing. Oh, we, we got to chase this dude. You better jump. Okay, we're gonna let those sink in. We're gonna let this reload, and as soon as... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Mm, no, 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 don't go that way! That's like to the cliffs. Got him. Alright, we're out of nets now, we gotta do this quick. Where's your head? There's your head. Alright, just hit him with as many of these as we can. Okay. No, th I think this is the best part as well, because I don't see any corrupted dinos up on these top parts. I only saw some below when we approached. Then I noticed that element node. I was like, yeah. But I think those guys can get up to like 50k health, and depending on like the, um, like the health is the amount of element. So we might build up a tech rex army or just a giga army and get ready to go fight those or i could go hold off on that and we can go like into the desert i want to try those velanosaurs as well because they got like mobile turret abilities kind of like the krylophosauruses you know and uh like how the krylophosaurus freeze these guys should legit just be a gun Shit, 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 shit. Where are you going? Oh my god. These gas bags got air. Alright, I'm out of nets now, so I just gotta keep on doing this. Luckily, we do have our tech suit. With element. Or we would not be able to keep up with this guy. Okay. We might not have to keep up with this guy for much longer. But, god damn it. You had to fall in the worst place possible. No, no, you're just, you have the survival instincts of a goddamn dodo bird. Okay. Okay. Now, what we got to do is keep him alive here. And... Oh my god, look at this place. You picked the worst place. This is, like, black tar. Oh my, like, there's tar everywhere. There's corrupted dino. There's a spino humping a wall. Oh my god. No, no, just let them, let them take out the pterodon on their own. They'll leave. Okay. Don't draw attention to yourself. Probably like the best thing I've done or said all morning. 
don't draw attention to yourself or the gas bag. Especially after you drew a goddamn giga to the last one. Oh my god. Like, that escalated so rapidly. Like, look, if we get... Oh, I should have just let him go over there, because if he landed by the Brontos, I feel like he would have been a little safer. Fuck the... The Spino is done humping the wall. What is your health? I Can I kill you in a good couple shots? Oh my god, yes I could. Crowd control real quick. Okay. Alright. Pterodons are the one things I'm scared of. And they're coming back this way. No, they're not. No, they're not. I'm just being paranoid now. Alright. You need to starve up. So, yeah. I'm gonna go... I need a place to stand. I could go back up there and call it good. So, I walked away for a little bit, and now I'm very confused, because I have 12% heat stroke, but I have tech insulation. Um, that means it is so hot right now that the tech armor can't even cool me. Oh my god. Um, also, he is now almost... Yeah, no, he is 250 down. We do got some dillos that have moved in. That is about it. And I'm just now noticing I'm getting close. Maybe if I could land a shot. Jesus Christ. Alright, here your buddy comes. It's a level 50. Oh, these corrupted dinos scare me. Because I got a feeling that they deal a lot more damage than normal ones. Here you go. Let's see. One two come on one more come on please damn it damn it damn it we're a little short he needed to start it's like about 300 i should have gone with looks like yeah he's gonna probably eat here as soon as that gets down to uh yeah that down about 10 more on hunger but yeah i think that should be a gas bag for us come on precious come on It's wheezing. It makes me feel like it's injured when it wheezes. Ooh, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna get you tamed. Get back to base. I'm gonna try and saddle you up today before I end the episode as well. I have enough, I believe, for a gas bag saddle. I might be wrong. Hold on. This will help us actually pass the time. Maybe if I spelled gas right and didn't miss the A. Gas bag. Oh yeah, I have that. No, I got that. We're crafting that way as soon as we get back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're, we're going... Ooh! I don't even have to have a saddle! Oh, okay. Hold right trigger. Sucks in gas. Now... This is not a place I want to land. Get up, get up, get up. Oh my god. This is awesome. Do you take fall damage? Yes. Shit. Okay, if I hit space... I can legit fly with this. No, this is a flyer. 100%. Like... I feel like I'm flying a goddamn spaceship. Oh my god. I feel like I'm landing on the moon. Got the Mars rover, or the moon lander with me. This dude's awesome, actually. Honestly. And he does have better dino stats. Um, but I don't think he's actually a better dino. I think they just buff some stats. He's just got a buff. Yeah, I think that's... I can look right now. Uh, never mind, because it sounded like an elk just got murdered off in the distance. But I think, yeah, I, no, it is. I got it pulled up. Okay, holding W releases gas, but you can, like, slowly hover. Okay. 
This is really awesome. We gotta save some gas for landing. Boom. Damn it. I was trying to save gas for landing, honestly. Just the way that we do this is awesome. This is full on a flyer. If anything, I'm having way too much fun right now on a gas bag. And that might also just be the fact that I've never tamed a gas bag before. But these guys look, they just like, they feel so fun. Because it feels like I'm flying the Mars rover. Oh, geez, we're going to land again. All right, hop off so that way he doesn't take fall damage, please. Okay. I'm trying my best here not to kill him in the first five minutes. Honestly. Hello. Oh, you're one of those scanner guys. I think I can hook them up to a pair of binoculars or something. Tech binoculars or whatever. And they're like a scout. Oh, there's our there's our platform. We gotta get... Alright. My goal for today now, or not today for now, before the episode ends, is to get him up there without cryopotting him. Oop, shoot, missed the landing. Oh, he auto -fill fills up for me too? That's awesome. Hey, buddy. I think we little went a little too overboard here on the height. Oh, I could so m jump up there to it, though. Easily. Come on. I need to work on the landing, definitely. Oh, that face, though, when it just sucks in. So you know it has a nice suck on it. Down, boy, down. I'm going to land here before I try and make that jump. Okay, so it doesn't take fall damage if you have air in the chamber. Okay, hold up. What? Do you increase my oxygen capacity? Oh, you do! Okay, so oxygen does matter on these guys. What is your base oxygen stat? 31. Okay. And you only got a 39 in health. Okay. You might be my personal gas bag. I don't know if I'll use you for breeding. But... Here we go. Um. I am going to say this, though. We are going up. Full thrust, full thrust. We're going to have to aim for the water. Oh my god, we missed it completely! Um. Gas bag. Gas bag's fine. Oh my god, though. I didn't know we could go just... Hold up, hold up, hold up. It appears that we can just go straight... Vertical, almost? If I cut all forward momentum... Oh my god. We're gonna smack into the bottom of our... No, up. Up. God dang it. Controls are iffy. I might have to just do it in a cryopod. I might just have to cryopod you. Yeah, yeah, Spike, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cryopod you. I know I said my goal was I have to get it up there, but yeah. It's not working. I mean, though, the gas bag probably would get me up there faster. <laughs> oh my god, look. It just... The jetpack takes so long. <laughs> the 
the straight vertical the first time around. Because if you guys don't know, if you go taller than this tower in the middle, you will die. Like, there's a kill box up there that if you go taller than this tower, it insta-kills you. So, I gotta be, like, careful on that. <laughs> but we had a, a massive frickin' vertical. Okay, we're up here. Gas bag, welcome to your new home. I think... Oh, yeah, let's just throw you out here. Oh my god, I thought the gas bag just got launched off. Let's see, how much room do you take up at full capacity? You are a chunk at full capacity. Do you got any special attacks? Oh, jeez! Alright, so if you hit C, you just, like, release all of it out the front. Okay, you got- you, like, remind me of a cow caterpillar. Honestly. I don't know what it is, but I just get cow caterpillar from it. I think it's just the ears on it make me feel like it has horns. Like a, you know, like a longhorn steer or whatever. But, like, again, it is a caterpillar. It has a beak, though. And nostrils. What are... Oh, what are they? I can't remember what they are. But that's going to probably be it for this episode. <laughs>